Hey everyone, welcome to ISO Life Sports for Fun. I'm Tom and this is my mum Fiona. Hi everyone, <laughs> welcome to our backyard. We're going to take you through a bit of a sports for fun session that you can do either at home or with your support worker. You can do this pretty much anywhere. We're not going to use any equipment that you don't already have and we think anyone can do this program. We'd love to hear back from you. We'd love to hear via the Facebook page, the Interchange Outer East Facebook page, if you've got questions or comments, um, only nice ones. <laughs> hey, just a couple of things before we get started. Make sure you've got a water bottle. We do think anyone can do this program, but if you've got existing injuries or any health issues, make sure you check with your doctor and please work within your limits. The good thing about having an old person and a young person is I'm gonna do the low impact. And I'm gonna do some high impact stuff. So you can choose during our warm up which ones you do. Um, this is all timed, so we'd really like you to go through this not stop and then we'll take you through it. So we're gonna be doing 30 seconds of exercises followed by 15 seconds of rest. Um, you won't need an interval timer, but if you do for something else, you can get this easily on your phone. Are you good to go, friend? I reckon let's go. All right. So first of all, let's just shake our bodies out while we get this started. And we're going in three, two, one, let's go. So for the high impact, we're starting with some really fast high knees. And I'm just bringing my knees up to my hands. Here we're always trying to keep our hands up and bringing our knees up, either running like Tom, or walking like me. If you've got a bit of space around you, you can try to move around a bit. So if you want to do this while running, there's the next step, you can do that. Are we up yet? Is it time? Nah, I think we're still going. <laughs> Listen for the beeps. There we go, have a rest. You do want to make sure you've got your water nearby. That was the first one. We've got seven more to go. This time, if you're doing high impact, you're going to do running and bum kicks. And I'm just going to be stepping it out and bring my legs back, let's oh, go. Going. So again, you can move around, you can move in circles, you can go forward and back. You go sideways. Don't any, go too far. Any way you want. <laughs> so you can start with high impact and then come back to low. It's up to you. Whatever you're feeling like. Yeah. We're just doing this to warm up our muscles. Yep. If you're doing low impact, you might like to add some arm movements. Old school aerobic style. Get the music going. There we go. Arm side. All right, this one, Tom and I are going to look at each other. You do need just a little bit of space here. We're going side to side. Two steps left, two steps yep. left. Yep, about two steps to the left and two steps to the right. Let's go. So you can see I've gone quite low because I'm going slower. Tom is a bit higher because he's going faster. Remember to keep your toes pointing in the direction across. Yeah. So your fingers and your toes should be pointing in the same direction. Exactly, Tom, good call. Keep going. Oh, there we go, there's our break. Now our last one, I like to call this sitting on the toilet. Technical name is squat. What we want is we want our knees over our toes, our bum's going back, Tom's going to step it up. Yeah, if you're, if you're going with me, we're going to a squat and then we're jumping up. So, so we're squatting down most important and thing, jumping up. Knees over toes. Like you're sitting on a cold toilet, and you come straight back up again. Tom's toilet seat's really cold. <laughs> nice jumping, Tom. If you're feeling a bit fancy, you might like to do some jumping forwards or some jumping All back. right, I'm going to take my jumper off. I'm getting warm now. So, so we're going back to the start, team. We're going to do those four exercises again, starting with our high knees. All right, let's go. <laughs> go, keeping your hands nice and still. Knees coming up. If you want to stretch this one out, you could do some skips with a knee up. Oh, wow. Or you can just do what I'm doing. That's fine too. <laughs> Whatever you're feeling like. It's all about getting our bodies moving. We don't want to be sore when we start our exercise. No. Well done. All right, we're going with our bum kicks again. 
only kick your own bottom. No one else in the room. Even how much you don't like them, they yeah. do like their bottoms not kicked. Alright, let's go. I'm hoping some people at home have got some music going while this is going. Tom, it's hard to do it without music, isn't it? It really is. You'll notice this time I'm kind of adding some arms and taking my legs further out to the side. If you can't get all the way to the bottom, chuck your hands there yeah. and try and kick your hands. This is really good for lengthening out this part of your body, the hamstrings. Those big quads. Quads, hamstrings at the back. All right, side dash. Just got two more. Two more, we're nearly there, team. This time I'm doing a grapevine. So we're gonna go across, forwards, across, back. All fast. All right, and rotate. I'm just sticking with this. Rotating our upper body a bit. But again, it's really important to have your toes facing the front. Hope everyone's enjoying our backyard. It's lucky there's no trucks going past. Yes. All right, last exercise team. So going back to our variations, Tom's gonna to do forward and backward jumps. I'm gonna do a wider leg squat. All right, last one. Let's go. Let's bring it home. Ooh, jumping backwards is hard. Yeah. So you can run it backwards if you don't wanna jump backwards. So jump forward and then run a few steps back. If you find it, I don't like jumping backwards. So I prefer to do what Tom's doing now. So with what Tom's doing, we start from a squat and we end in a squat. So we don't get sore knees. All right, team, well done. Go Give grab the a person drink. you're with a high five and, and go, go grab, grab a drink. drink. Hi, so we're gonna start with one of our favorites at Sports for Fun called Rob the Nest. If we were at Knox or Marooned or Yarra Valley, we'd probably play with our bean bags, our hoop, and of course the famous chicken. But we get that you guys are at home and probably don't have access to this equipment. So we've just drawn a chalk circle on the ground and we're just trying to find, have we got something to throw? Hey Tommy, what do you reckon about these? I've just finished the washing. Oh yeah, I can, those these are very These are good. clean socks. I can guarantee you guys, Tom's clean socks. Can you move the other bean bag, please? So, most of you will have seen this game played before. Our socks are in the middle. And we're gonna start back here. So we're gonna start with a simple relay. So the first person's gonna go run and grab a, a sock or bean bag if you have that. Come to the next person and give them a firm elbow run. Elbow, no high fives, although we're allowed to because we live in the same house. <laughs> but apart from that, elbows. Elbows, we might do toes next, Tom. Oh yeah, good idea. Oh, sorry team. Toes. And elbows. So you'll see now that we've gathered all the socks from the middle and now we're gonna do, we're gonna be trying to throw these into our circle. And the person who gets the most in is gonna win. All right, I'm, I'm feeling like I've got this today, I, Tom. I don't think you do. All right, Tom, you can go first or youngest. Oh no. Tom, oh. miss. Fiona. Oh, it bounces. The socks bounce. One. Oh, Tom's got one. Zero. Zero. This is for the win. Oh, man. Two one. Two one. So you can do that with as many people as you've got in your house. If you can convince lots of people to play. As many balls, as many socks as you like. We'd love to see what you use to play Rob the Nest. If you want, and you've got lots of people playing, you could get two different teams competing for the same socks in the middle. Because there's only two of us, we were just doing a relay, but we can turn that into a competition as well. All right, team, let us know how you go. Hey team, welcome to our second game. This is another favorite at Sports for Fun. It's called Head, Shoulders, Knees and Cone. I am down my trusty colleague, Tom, where are you? Hey. Oh, here he is. So as you can see, I'm gonna play with a cone today. What have you brought to the table? I don't need my hat anymore. Let's play with this. Excellent. Hey, this is a game that we play a lot at Sports for Fun. 
and we've got some people that come to Sports for Fun who are in wheelchairs and they own this game. So we reckon this is one that anyone and everyone can play. Little shout out to our mates Archie and Noah. Hi. <laughs> so the way that this works is you get one person to call out the instructions. That's going to be me today. So I'm going to call out heads. And we touch our heads. I'm going to call out knees. I'm going to call out tummy. I'm going to call out nose. Then when I call out cone or hat, we're going to run forward. We're going to touch it. Tom's going to put his hat on. I'm not putting the cone on. And then we run back to our spot. You can go with this as fast or slow as you like. We're going to do a slow example, then we're going to do a fast example. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. Heads, shoulders, knees, tummy, butts, nose, don't mix these up, butts, knees, shoulders, cone, slow. <laughs> All right, let's speed it up, guys. So for those of you who like to go fast, this is a fun game. You can also try and catch people out doing the wrong body movement. I wonder if I can catch Tom out. Heads, shoulders, nose, shoulders, knees. I hope no one saw that. Shoulders, knees, toes, knees, shoulders, butts. Tom, keep up. Shoulders, knees, shoulders, knees, cone. Oh. Yes! Okay, guys, send us a video on how you go. Hey team, welcome to our third game. We're hoping you're having fun working together. This is a game that needs no equipment. Sometimes popular, sometimes not popular. I don't like this one because mum picks on me in it, but let's see how we go. We're gonna yep. play a bit of ship, shore, and sea. Yeah, so I'm gonna call out the instructions. So you will need one person to do this. I'm not gonna do them today because I'm old and Tom's gonna do them <laughs> because it entertains me. So our actions are, if I say port, you run to the left. If I say starboard, you run to the right. If I say come back to the middle, you come back to the middle, just so everyone can see. If I say scrub the deck, you get down. Now normally I would make you go all the way to the ground, like that. I hope you can see that. If you're on a manky ground like we are, you might not have to do that. Then I say salute the, if I say salute the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Now a little shout out here to Angus and Josh who play this extraordinarily well from Sports for Fun. And this makes me very happy. We're gonna start out with four. Sorry about the crows, friends. We're gonna start out with four instructions and then we'll add some more. All right, let's go. Port, scrub the deck. Starboard. Salute the captain. Aye, aye, captain. Port. Starboard. Port. Scrub the deck. Salute the captain. Aye, aye, captain. All right, you've got the idea. We've gone nice and slow there. Did we? I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're going to add a couple more things. So once you've got the hang of those four, you might like to add th these couple of ones in. We like to do walk the plank. So arms, imagining you've got a line on the ground and then a big jump to a squat. Remember protecting our knees. The other one we do is throw the anchor. We get nice and side on, arms behind us, and we throw the anchor. We can also do a climb the ladder. And climb the ladder. So, so imagine like you're climbing the ladder. Yeah. Get your arms in like a fun bear or something. Yeah. All right, so there's three more. You might like to add, make up some of your own. I reckon that'd be pretty cool. We'd love Tom. some more ideas. We'd love yeah. some more ideas. So we're going to go this one fast. All right, let's see if we can wear Tom out. All right, let's go port. Scrub the deck. Climb the ladder. Starboard. Scrub the deck. Oh, climb the ladder. Scrub the deck. Other name for this is burpees. <laughs> climb the ladder. Salute the captain. Aye, aye, captain. <laughs> yes. Go team. So you can make that be as fast or as slow as you like, and you can do as many things as you like. Man. I'm out of practice from not bowling on a Wednesday at Sports or Fun with my people, Keely, Brent, and Daniel. Yeah, Tom, I'm really sad that I don't get to do bowling with our friends. I wonder what we could do about that. Well... 
I'm glad you asked. As you can see here, we've just got a whole lot of drink bottles that we found in our drawers. Some juice, some milk, and a fair bit of Diet Coke. Sorry everyone, I do drink too much Diet Coke. We here at Sports for Fun do not endorse the <laughs> drinking of Diet Coke. We don't. But... Yeah. Um, but if you're doing this at home, you might like to create your own set of Skittles. We'd love to see some creative people, you know, make them look really good. Another game we can play if you want to get active and moving is you can run these up and set them up. So we might start with one here, run it up, put it down, come up with another one. You know, set them up nicely. And then at the end, we have to bowl them all over. Come on, Tom, you've got this. Yes, yes, Tom! Enjoy your bowling, guys. Hey team, we're really glad that you've joined with us at Sports for Fun, and I hope you've enjoyed the backyard with the crows and the dogs. Um, we're gonna finish off with a cool down. It's really important when we exercise that we warm up and we cool down. So please don't skip this bit. Otherwise you'll be feeling really sore tomorrow and we don't want that. Exactly. So let's start off with, we're gonna just pop that right arm in and give it a shake. One, two, three, four, five. Swap arms, left arm. One, two, three, four, five. Right leg, one, two, three, four, five. Left leg, one, two, three, four, five. And you do the hokey shake. <laughs> no, we're not doing the whole pokey, but we are gonna do a whole body shake for five. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. Now a more sensible cool down. Yeah, so now we're just gonna do some nice easy stretches. We're gonna start by dropping our ear to our shoulder. So here it's really important that we bring our shoulder up, that we bring our head to the side. You should really feel it in the side of your neck and it should feel really good if, like me, you're up against a screen all day. We're going to swap sides now, hop to our other side. Now make sure you don't take it too far, it just should feel like a really nice stretch. We're not after pain here. And three, two, one, we're going to stand up tall and do some shoulder rolls now. You should feel this in the top of your back. So we're aiming to do each stretch for about a count of 20 so that we actually get a really good stretch. We're going to change our direction now and start to move them forwards. So we scrunch our shoulders and roll it forwards. If you're finding that too hard today, maybe just take your shoulders up and down. That can be really nice as well. So hopefully your back and shoulders are feeling good now. We're going to start with an arm stretch. So we're going to have our arm straight ahead, move it across our chest and then bring up this arm up to lock it in. So you, sh you should look a little bit like an elephant. This can be really hard guys, so don't worry if you're finding this tricky. Someone can help you, or you can just have it keep trying to get into this position. We're gonna swap our arms now, so we'll get our other arm going forward, bring that across towards our shoulder and bring the other arm up. And feel that stretch in your shoulder. Good job everyone. As we said, this is one of the more tricky ones. Okay. So now we're just going to do, we're going to get really loose, relax, and start to just roll down. Now, if you start to feel dizzy, stop at any point. You can bend your knees a bit and just flop all the way down. So fingers, it doesn't matter if you don't get to the ground. You'll notice Tom and I don't get to the ground. And then once you're feeling nice and low, we're just going to slowly roll ourselves back up. Now, lots of people go really quickly on this top. We need to go really slowly. It's almost like a competition to see who can go the slowest. We're gonna do that once more and see who can really go the slowest. So start up and roll ourselves down. You can slide your hands down your legs if you like. And just hover there for a bit. You might find you get a bit further to the ground this time. <laughs> and now we're gonna hop back up, down as slow as we can. Game's on. No, I think I'm too high. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah. oh, that feels good, Tom. Oh, you need to win one of them. I've been <laughs> pulling ahead. And we're going to finish just with an easy quad stretch. So if you're struggling with your balance a bit, like me, you can hold up against a pole and we're just going to grab... Wall. We're just going to grab our foot behind near our bottom. Again, this can be quite... If you've got tight legs, Tom and I both often do. You can feel this quite strongly. Sometimes it might be just enough. If you can see, you might you can just have it to there. 
rather now we're, than holding. We're going to swap our legs and hop on the other side. Oh, that is tight. <laughs> <laughs> Those squat jumps have taken. I can balance on this side. Good job. All right, guys, we're going to finish off with some really nice, slow, deep breathing. So we're going to breathe in. Two, three, four, five, and breathe out. When you do this, sometimes it's nice to put your hands on your belly and you can feel your belly pushing your hands out. It's also really nice to close your eyes and yep. almost fall asleep here. All right, we're going to do two more. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. And we are finished. In normal times, if we were going to finish a sports for fun program, we'd tell you to go give all like five high fives or something. We can't really do that. If you want, you can give a toe or an elbow bump to the people around you. But we do always finish with our hands in. And Tom and I are allowed to do this because we live together. So we're going to put our, our hands, hands in. in. And we're going to go sports, sports on, on three. three. One, two, three, sports! sports.